What's up, y'all? This is Henny. And I know you're like, yo, Hen, uh, where you been? I've been trying to win, trying not to sin. <laughs> Too many of y'all been asking me, hitting me up, when are you going to talk about this update? You know what the update is. You, you know what the update is. We talking LumaFusion 2.0 and everything that it has to do with making your mobile video editing needs the best that they can possibly be. I'm telling you, I've used the beta for quite some time now, and now that it's here 2.0, let's deep dive into everything that has to do with the update and all the newness that comes with LumaFusion 2.0. So hey, we gotta get into it. I don't know if it's gonna be long or not, but you know how I do. I gotta give it to you straight, gotta give it to you real. Let's go. <laughs> So yes, LumaFusion 2.0 is finally here and it has a whole lot of new features. You know, the people over there at LumaTouch, shout out to all of them. They've been doing tremendous work when it comes to making video editing, mobile, professional, all the things that you would need uh, to be able to do on a device like the iPad or an iPhone. There's a lot going on. Let me just show you exactly what we got going. So what I did is I pulled up one of my last videos. It's just a video on the iPad Mini 5. And uh, shout out to everybody. Check that out. Appreciate that. One of the first things you'll notice is just the way it's laid out, right? If you pull up an old session, if you pulled up something that you did previous than the 2.0, you're going to see this little blue bar, right? One of the first things you can see is this. And uh, I love it because it's so easy for you to scrub through your... Uh, your edit, right? I mean, if you want to go to a specific part in any part of your edit, it's it's so easy just to drag your finger back and forth. But what's even more clutch is the little things that they've added when you press and hold certain certain buttons. Like if you press and hold the play button, you'll be able to see now you can scrub very slowly, right? And get right where you need to go. So that's pressing the play button, making sure that you can scrub by 60 frames a second, you can scrub by 15 frames a second, five frames a second, really get in there to that specific point in uh, that edit. I love that. If you wanna go faster, you just use this wheel up here, or you just use this timeline up here, excuse me. And uh, it works well. One of the other big things that you'll see is all the UI icons are now down at the bottom and not in like a pop-up, you know, kind of drawer situation. You have all the buttons that you need, whether it's your duplicate, whether, you know, it's your, you know, chain, unchain, you know, get straight to your edit window, uh, you know, to go directly to some of your presets, to copying uh, from your clipboard or anything like that, from cutting to your trash. It's right there. It stays on, you know, the bottom of your screen at all times. So you have easy access to all of those buttons. And then down here to the right, you'll have you know, your export, your sharing, it just makes it easier that they're all down here, right down here at the bottom. Um, and as, of course, you have your help and your settings. And uh, one of the things that you will realize is, is that now LumaFusion in 2.0, it holds all your media together, right? Before, say for instance, I had media in my photos app and uh, I imported all my photo, I imported all my photos and all my videos in my photos app. And then once I dragged it and edited it into, you know, a specific session, if I was to delete those files from my photos app, they would be gone and missing from uh, the actual session. Now they're actually being contained so that whenever you drag files into your session, that session will be literally nested in like that so that you will not have to worry about those files being deleted if you delete them from your photos app. But to be mindful, you got to know that, you know, all these files are being accumulated in these sessions. And if you want to clear up space, you're going to want to come down here and go to your help and settings and hit this cleanup button. As you can see, my cleanup cache media is almost 309 gigabytes of files that is already being, you know, saved within the sessions. And it, if I went here, I can take here and, you know, say, you know, my photos and my video from Storyblocks, from Narbox, whatever, I can clean up all that media right here coming, going straight to the cleanup window in help and settings. That's one thing that you need to know about so that when you're trying to clean up your, your media, trying to make sure you have enough space, you'll, you'll know that you need to clean up those files internally in the app as well as clean them off of your uh, photos or wherever you imported it into. So let's talk about what's also going on on the left side of the panel. 
So right here you have a, uh, you know, chain and unchain, you know, a specific channel. You can lock a channel down, you can hide a channel and you can mute a channel, which makes it very easy when you have multiple layers uh, on top of each other and you're trying to work within one layer. So right here I have me talking about the iPad and then showing the screenshot as a B-roll. And then you can see I have some other uh, uh, video on top of that. So if I wanted to work just with, you know, what was underneath this B-roll, I can literally hide that and you can make sure that you can hide it by itself, which makes it good, right? But you can also lock that channel down so that you can't edit, do anything to it. So right now you can see that this layer is linked to this layer. And if I wanted to unlink it so that maybe I can delete just this layer, I would go here and unlink it and would take that line away, right? Now, if I delete this file and I hit delete, it'll still stay where it's at. Now, if I undo, undo again, you'll see it's linked back. So you can link and unlink layers, you can lock layers, you can hide layers, and then you know you can always you can mute and unmute layers. So having those tools to the left has, gives you a lot more flexibility to make sure your session, your file, your edit stays in place and gives you the right way to edit and mix those up, as well as seeing that you have all these new waveforms when it comes to your audio. And being able to have six layers of audio and six layers of video just gives you so much more to work with. Now, a lot of the things that have worked so well still work the same, whether you're importing, getting your files from a, from a NAR box or from your photos app, um, being able to import and export files, that hasn't really changed as much. It's, it's just more streamlined and easier for you to get your files off and on this app. So another thing that's been added is markers, right? Being able to add a marker wherever you need in a specific part of the timeline and you know label it however you want, add notes, whatever it is. Say for instance, I need this bigger, I can label this red, you know, that would just be a note for me. And uh, it'll be right there on the timeline so that I can go right to that note. Maybe I'm working with others. Maybe I'm gonna send this file to somebody else. Maybe I'm working with an editor. Maybe I just needed to take that note to remind myself for later. It's great to be able to have those notes colored in and say maybe I want, you know, I could tell myself sound effects here. Put a little green dot, boom. So you can see throughout the timeline, I can go directly to these parts and understand exactly what I need to do there. You know, cause sometimes you're editing away and you're like, okay, I need to make sure I remember to do a specific thing at that specific time. And uh, it'll be great for you, you know, to take, write down a quick note then make sure, okay, I know exactly what I needed to do there based off of adding that marker so but i can tell you for people working on bigger projects that could probably help tremendously so markers added 2.0 loving it it gets the job done for a lot more uh organization understanding what you need to do and as you can tell like if you dive in a little bit deeper into just the way the overall app is laid out there's a lot more text there's a lot more information there so you know right now with me scrubbing, it's just telling me the name of the, uh, the session or the name of the edit that I'm working on. But if I specifically go into a clip, it's gonna tell me you know, what that clip is, what the duration is, and what the start point is. Just more information added to the app, which helps you understand what you're doing, what you're working on. And I really like the way that they've implemented that. What I can tell you about using iPad OS beta and using LumaFusion 2.0 is it's just gonna be even easier to get your files in and out of wherever you need them. Importing your files directly using the Files app into LumaFusion, into a folder, and then working from that makes it so much easier to make sure you have all your files where they need them. Like you would be doing something with Final Cut or with Premiere or something like that, having your files a lot more organized. So I can go in here, LumaFusion, I can go into, you know, uh, I could create my own folder here in user media, create whatever I want, you know, say for instance, this is audio files. Once I create some, a folder like that, I can easily import my audio files from an audio recorder, you know, something like I did here, take that file, move it directly into, you know, uh, you know, user media, audio files, move. And I still have my files, you know, where I need them to go. And when I go and, and load up LumaFusion, 
it just it's it works it's there you know and um audio files boom the file is right there and i can play it scrub through it whatever so it's going to be awesome when ipad os comes out of beta and you're going to be able to get all your files organized in the manner that you need so that you can easily pull them up import them export them and be able to easily edit your videos as fast as possible well here's what i can say LumaFusion 2.0 it's an amazing update, um, has a ton of new features. And from using it for the last month, month and a half now, it's only helped me get even faster with getting my videos done, edited, and out the door. I don't know, for anybody who might be reluctant on upgrading to 2.0, please don't. The main things that you will have to really understand and wrap your mind around is the way the, the app is laid out, you know, the new UI changes, and uh, uh, getting familiar with having a lot more flexibility and a lot more additions to what you were able to use before. And for all that, I'm just like, yo, this is just nothing but wins, right? It's nothing but making sure that you can do even better things with an app like LumaFusion. So please don't think that, uh, you know, you shouldn't upgrade to this because it could be buggy or it's not going to be everything that you need before you update. No, this thing is the real deal. And all my devices from my phones to my iPads have them up there now. And I had them in beta and they were good. So don't worry so much about that. Really, it's about making the jump, you know, um, letting go of fear and trying new things. Um, I think this whole experience for me, this whole experience on YouTube has been letting go of fear. You know, it's been letting go of just, you know, uh, things that I had, insecurities that I had. And when it comes to devices, when it comes to apps, when it comes to all the things that I've been talking about, it really always comes down to uh, trying something new to get a different result. And I think a lot of us get so wrapped up in doing things and getting comfortable in a certain way, but not feeling enough growth, not feeling enough of that fire that we once felt when we first got into whatever we got into, that uh, you know we're making very slow incremental changes in progress. And I believe that it's it's just not you know we're not doing enough jumping, we're not we're not trying new things out, we're not meeting enough new people, you know we're not experiencing new things. Um, you know I think. I think a lot of us out there need to focus not so much as much on the equipment and the tech as much as it is the lifestyle that the tech helps you create. Um, you know, when it comes to living a lifestyle of mobility and, and technology and all of these things, a lot of it is being able to get out there in the world and do things and meet new people. And so, you know, for me, I haven't had to worry about uh, so much of the tech this year. It's more so about what does this tech help me do? It helps me to get out there more. And so, yeah, you know, uh, I think you can see that, you know, this year I haven't been as consistent on my uploads because I've been experiencing meeting people, building relationships and doing business outside of just making these videos. And uh, it's, it's, it goes hand in hand with making these videos, if that makes any sense to anybody out there. So, you know, make the jump, try new things. You know, when it comes to something like LumaFusion 2.0, it's great. It's, it's only made things better and easier for me. But make the jump, make the conscious decision to say, you know, I'm going to try new things. I'm going to meet new people. I'm going to experience new, th I'm experience new places. All of this is only going to help you be better at all the things that you want to do in life. And I've seen it firsthand by just allowing myself to let go, jump, beta test, whatever you want to call it, to be able to say, you know what, um, I'm getting way more out of my life. I'm getting way more out of the things that uh, I associate myself with, the brands, the tech, whatever it is, so that I can get um, the best out of my life. For me, I only want that for, for those that are watching is this, is for y'all to get the best out of your lives. And um, you know, hey, when it comes to uh, apps and stuff like that, uh, I'm only trying to find the ones that really work for me and I feel like can really work for others. So that's LumaFusion, that's 2.0, it's great. It's done me well, and I feel like it'll do you well as well. Time will tell. Had to make that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Just wanted to say what's up. I've been on vacation with the family, but I'm back. And uh, let me know what you think about LumaFusion. Let me know what you think about uh, the updates, the new features, and how that's helping you. Yeah, we'll get back at it, and we'll keep conversing. And uh, I really appreciate the continued support. So I'll catch y'all next time, man. Take care.
Ha <laughs> ha!